about a year ago, I went through a very challenging situation with uh, one of my daughters, right? And she's 12 years old at the time. And her and her mom get into an argument, right? And she's aggravated. And she types in one of these little message boards or something that she feels like jumping out of her window. Well, the homeschool, you know, counselor who came across that little post decided that it was a family crisis and advised her mom to take her to the hospital, right? Against my wishes. <laughs> and I kept telling her mom, don't, don't bring her to that hospital. Don't bring her to that hospital. You bring her to that hospital, they're going to take her, right? And me and her mom, you know, we're not together. So I guess she figured that, you know, he's been wrong about other shit. He could be wrong about this. She decides to take her, you know. And the people did exactly what I told her they were going to do. They took my daughter. Took a child who had never been out of our sight. Who has never been away from us. They took her as a part of this three-day observation thing. And stuck her in a mental health facility with a bunch of strangers. A bunch of people she's never been around in a bunch of a bunch of clinical therapists, child psychiatrists, right? <laughs> Who, in my opinion, made the situation worse than it actually was. See, what my daughter was having is temper tantrum. And if they would have known my child, this is my theater kid. She's very dramatic, right? She takes, she takes classes in expressions, right? And how to be way over the top. It was a temper tantrum. But being that they don't, they don't know this child, they said, she wants to kill herself. And I'm like, she don't want to kill herself. That's a temper tantrum. I know my child. And the danger is when a clinical psychiatrist or therapist think that they know your child more than you because they've taken a couple of classes and they can tell you what's best for your kid and you know i i me and this woman got into it you know and i threatened everybody at the hospital because my position was can you guarantee me that while my daughter's here no harm will come to her can you say that right now in front of everybody that's looking in front of everybody that's recording this altercation can you guarantee me that there has never been a child in your custody that has gone into one of those facilities and was harmed psychologically, physically, sexually. Can you guarantee me that? And they all went silent because they knew they couldn't. Because as much as I'm a fan of mental health, I'm a fan of mental health for adults. What I don't believe in is unsupervised mental health for children. It's the same as taking your child to the dentist and they take your three-year-old or your four-year-old in the back without you leaving you in the waiting room and got your child in the back. You know that anxiety when you're sitting there like, I don't know what the fuck they're doing my kid right now. This is some bullshit. Then later we discovered that there were children molested because the doctors were pedophiles, right? And we assume that just because someone has a degree in a particular field that that they have our kids best interest in hand and that's not always the case especially when we're dealing with psychology which is you know it was just yesterday that Sigmund Freud was you know conducting these barbaric experiments you know it was just yesterday that these state hospitals in Alabama and Louisiana and Mississippi were shut down because they were raping and torturing children but we just assume because the person has a degree that you know psychology is still two days away from its barbaric 
primitive practices that they have admitted were extreme. Yet we are to trust these individuals with um, our kids three days unsupervised. That's the most barbaric shit you can do. That's the most damaging shit you can do. Here's why. Because in that facility, here's this child who has never even been exposed. Like, I keep my kids in a sanitized box. Now they got some white therapists asking them shit that this African-American child never even considered. Have you thought about cutting yourself? Have you thought about hurting others while they were asleep? Has... Has anybody encouraged you to hurt your fellow students? They're asking questions that's completely fucking up the breaker box of my child. Rewiring them through the questions, exposing them to criminality through the question. And it was a friend of mine, a fellow tiger. Thank you, Jazz that Jazz had on his post the active shooter drill is actually the problem. In the active shooter drill, these kids are being exposed to, introduced, ideas are being transferred, transplanted into their minds. You know, we're causing harm through exposure to people that we would have never exposed our kids to. And you can't do shit about it because if your kid is going to the school, they need to take the active shooter drill. But the active shooter drill is actually teaching the little deranged ass kid who comes from the fucked up home is teaching him how to kill. So your kid who has never been exposed to violence is going through these drills with kids who are exposed to violence. And it is those kids who go through those active shooter drills. Those are the ones now picking off the other kids. Why? Because the actual drill taught them, you know, following the same Call of Duty point of view, active shooter games. It has converted the school into the game of killing. And all you wanted to do is send your kid to school. But now they're being indoctrinated into a culture of violence. See, like child psychology and, and education professionals, I don't believe that these people should be left to their own devices to decide what's best for our kids. Right? I think that we should always have the final say in whether our kid should be allowed to participate in something or not. Because the people that are there claiming that they're there to help are the ones that actually wind up doing the most psychological damage to your kid while the state handcuffs your hands behind your back because you know those motherfuckers got the degree but this same Sigmund Freud ass torture is being carried out on your child and ain't shit you could do about it